Hi everyone, it's Michael. Uh, so I have another very interesting problem for you from the 2019 Romania. Um, the, the team selection test for what I believe is the Junior Balkan Math Olympiad. So there's a certain math competition, not the IMO, but the, the Junior Balkan Math Olympiad. So when Romania was deciding who they wanted to be on that team, uh, they gave them a test uh, to help choose the participants, and this was one of the problems. So if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so now I'm going to go over the solution. So we have a triangle ABC, and uh, we have a tangent at B to the circumcircle. And then we take the orthocenter H, and we drop a perpendicular to that tangent line at B, and it meets it at K. And L is the midpoint of side uh, AC, and we want to show that triangle BKL is isosceles. So from the figure, it, it kind of looks very obvious that we want to show that BL is KL. Okay. Um, so my solution is actually exactly the same as um, someone else who posted on the forum called Ricochet. Um, but I wanted to elaborate a little bit more on the details of the solution. So that's why I um, created this video here. Also, just because I thought it was a very nice problem and I wanted to include it on uh, my channel. Okay, so we want to show that BL equals KL. Um, now, people who do geometry a lot, you'll notice that uh, AEDC is a cyclic quadrilateral and the center of, of the circumcircle of it is L. Now, why is that? That's because angle, first angle AEC is equal to angle ABC, and they're both 90 degrees. So that means that AEDC has to be cyclic, where AC is the diameter, and so the midpoint L of the diameter has to be the center of that circle. So I'm going to write that out here. Um, and why is this useful in helping us solve the problem? Well, it means that, we, so we want to show that um, KL equals BL, but if L is the center of a circle through A, E, D, and C, we know that LE equals LD. So I'm going to write this all out. Um, this is what I said before, AC is the diameter of the circle through A, E, D, and C, and L is the center of that circle because it's the midpoint of the diameter. So therefore, LE equals LD. So if we know that LE is LD, then maybe we could try to use that to show that LK is LB through congruent triangles. So I kind of just sense this a little bit through just pattern recognition, seeing a lot of similar problems. Um, but I didn't know for sure this would work when I first tried it, but it ends up that it does work. Um, so LE is equal to LD. Um, so maybe we want to try to show that triangle KEL is congruent to triangle BDL. And it turns out that that's actually true. And so that's what I'm going to try to prove here. Okay. So with all these perpendicular lines, um, we, we, we know that there's another cyclic quadrilateral. So first of all, angle BEH is equal to angle BDH is 90 degrees. So BEHD has to be cyclic but um, BKH is also 90 by construction. So all five of those points have to lie on a circle. Um, so this is me writing that out there. Um, BKH is BEH is BDH, they're all 90 degrees, and so they all have to lie on a circle with diameter BH, okay? Um, so I'm gonna draw in that circle. And now, so I, like I said, I wanted to try to show KEL is congruent to BDL. So if that were true, that would mean that KE would equal to BD, would be equal to BD. So we'd have two chords of the circle equal, but that's, that's true when um, the two sort of segments connecting the endpoints of the chords, KB and DE are parallel. So we wanna show that KB is parallel to DE. So how do we do that? So I'm gonna do a little bit of an angle chase here um, to get us there. So angle KBE, well, that's obviously equal to KBA. So, and then since um, the line at B is tangent to the circumcircle, 
KBA has to equal angle uh, BCA because uh, the angle between a tangent line and a chord is equal to the to an inscribed angle that intercepts that chord. Um, so KBA equals BCA and BCA is equal to BED. Why is that? Um, so again, people who do geometry a lot may just recognize that, but basically, like I mentioned before, AEDC is cyclic, um, which I mentioned up here. So because of that, um, in a cyclic quadrilateral, um, any angle is equal to the exterior of the opposite angle. So uh, angle BCA, that would be basically angle DCA in that cyclic quadrilateral has to equal the exterior of the opposite angle, which is uh, BED. Okay, so we've shown that KBE is BED. So then that means that KB has to be parallel to DE because those two angles, KBE and BED, are alternate interior angles. And if that's true, then as we wanted, um, parallel chords in a circle um, cut off sort of equal segments. So we have to have K equals BD. Because, um, um, yeah, whenever you have two parallel chords um, in a circle, if you connect the four points, they have to form an isosceles trapezoid by symmetry. So KE has to equal BD. Okay, so we're, we're part of the way there to showing, uh, we want to show KEL is congruent to BDL. We have KE equals BD. Um, we have LE equals LD. Now, can we show that angle KEL is angle BDL? And that turns out not to be too hard. So what we want to do is, so for angle KEL, we want to break it into the sum of angle KED and LED. Um, so I'm going to show two equalities here. So first, LED has to equal LDE, and that's because L is the center of the circle through A, D, and C. Um, and so since, like I mentioned before, LE is equal to LD, then angle LED has to equal angle LDE. And then similarly, um, or I don't know about similarly, but since uh, KBDE is an isosceles trapezoid by symmetry, we have to have KED is BDE. And so if we add the two sides of each of these equations, um, LED plus KED, um, that's angle KEL. And LDE plus BDE, that's LDB. So by adding the two, we get angle KEL is equal to angle BDL. And so therefore, those two triangles have to be congruent by side angle side. Um, because KE is equal to BD, uh, LE equals LD, and angle KEL is equal to angle BDL. So they're congruent by side angle side, and so therefore uh, KL equals BL, which is what we wanted to show. Uh, so I hope you all enjoyed this problem. Um, a little bit of a, a break from some of the really hard problems I've posted uh, fairly recently. Um, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.